We talked earlier about replacing bad habits with good ones. So in this summary, I will go over one of the most famous habit-building books, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. In the book, Stephen Covey goes over seven main principles or general habits for someone to be an effective individual. The first habit is to be proactive, which starts by internalizing that your life is your own making and accepting responsibility for it. Don't blame others for your misfortunes. Focus on what you can control in your life. Develop a positive attitude towards life and surround yourself with positive people. The second habit is to begin with the end in mind. Accordingly, it was always important to define your goals properly and have a clear vision of your life and why do you do the things you do. In other words, try to have a personal mission or a statement and keep reminding yourself of it. The third habit is to put first things first. It is always important to prioritize what is urgent and what is important. From there, you can start building the skills and the habits of an effective person. And also, you grow your skills in task prioritization and also time management. This will help you develop as an individual and keep your priorities aligned. The fourth habit is to think in a win-win way. This habit focuses on developing mutually beneficial relationships through empathy and understanding. In other words, develop effective communication techniques and make them habitual. Also, make it a habit to reach win-win resolutions in any conflict in order to maintain healthy relationships. The fifth habit to develop is to always seek to understand before you are understood. Thus, develop a habit of continuous active listening. Be present and mindful in your conversations. Continuously work on improving your communication skills and techniques. This will help you flourish in your relationships and build rapport and trust with others. Number six is called Synergize, and it is all about collaboration and teamwork. It is important to develop the skills and tools to work effectively in teams and to develop an environment of collaboration and cooperation within the teams you are in. This will help you leverage the diversity of skills and experiences on the team to reach the predetermined common goal. The final and seventh habit is to sharpen your saw. Here, you should develop a habit of self-monitoring, identify your needs and your state, and then work on developing self-care and self-renewal. In return, your approach to life will become more balanced and you will continuously learn and grow as a person.